Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on dividing any whole number by a single digit whole number. And what it means, by the way, to divide a number by another is you want to see how many times this 3 goes into 7,314. So, for example, if we had 7,314 sweets and we wanted to share them between three people, doing this division will tell me how many sweets each of those three people get. Now, the way we do it is using something called the bus stop method. And it's, the reason it's called the bus stop method is because when you use the lines for your working, it looks a bit like a bus stop. Not really sure it does, but anyway. Um, and what we do is we put the number on the left here, and we put the number on the right to the left here. And what we do is we see how many times that three goes into each of these digits, starting from the leftmost digit and gradually working your way to the right. Yeah? So we firstly say, how many times does three go into seven? Well, we divide seven by three, it goes in two whole times. If I was to illustrate with a sketch, let's say I have seven things, if I had seven things, I was dividing it into three. I've got a three here. I've got a three here. And we can see that it goes in two whole times. And what we do is we put that two here at the top, just above that seven. And we've got one left over. And that remainder of one, we put on the next digit here, just top left of it. And then we repeat the process. So we ask ourselves, how many times does 3 go into 13? Well, it goes in four whole times, and again, we will have a remainder of 1. How many times does 3 go into 11 now? It goes in three whole times, remainder 2. And then finally, how many times does 3 go into 24? 24 divided by 3 is 8 times exactly, and we don't have any remainder. So that is the answer. Each person would get 2,438 sweets. Now the next one, again, bus stop method, lines like this. We're going to put the number on the left on the right, and the number on the right on the left. So we swap the order. And then we say, how many times does 7 go into 6? Well, if we draw 6 things, how many groups of 7 have we got in here? Well, there's not enough to even make one group of seven, is there? So it goes in zero whole times. If you had six sweets, you just can't share it between seven people, can you? You don't have enough sweets to even give each person one sweet. But we will still have those six sweets left over in our hand. So we still have a remainder of six. And then we repeat the process. So how many times does seven go into 63? Well, it goes in nine whole times without any remainder at all. So we don't need to write any remainder here. How many times does seven go into one? Well, if we have one sweet and we want to share it between seven people, not enough. You don't even have enough sweets to give each person one sweet. So it's zero whole times. But we've still got that one sweet in our hand. So we've still got a remainder of one. And then finally, seven is into 14. That goes in two whole times. And that's our final answer. We've got 902.